This is the WHTC Morning News with Gary Stevens on 99.7, 1450WHTC and WHTC.com. Welcome back to the WHTC Morning News for this Wednesday, February 9th. Groundbreaking sustainability solutions from three innovative West Michigan companies will be the focus of a forum presented this coming Monday, February 14th, presented by the West Michigan Sustainable Business Forum and the City of Holland Sustainable Education Program to tell us more about this forum and a little bit about the West Michigan Sustainable Business Forum is the executive director of the West Michigan Sustainable Business Forum, Daniel Schoonmaker. He's on the other side of our Zoom connection this morning. Daniel, good morning and welcome to WHTC. Thank you for having me, Gary. How are you, how are you today? We are well, and it is going to be a good day, but uh, Monday is going to be an exciting day. Before we talk about the event that will be at the Herring of Holland Civic Center place, Daniel, uh, why don't you get us caught up to speed? What exactly is the West Michigan Sustainable Business Forum? Yeah, the West Michigan Sustainable Business Forum. We've been we've been uh, in operations in West Michigan since 1994. Uh, our organization works with business institutions to advance uh, sustainable business practices that promote climate leadership, community resilience, corporate responsibility, and the creation of a circular economy. Uh, most people know us for events and networking programs, but we uh, but we also have uh, a rotating portfolio of uh, participatory projects and initiatives uh, designed to it, 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 to 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 it, uh, uh, advance sustainability and sustainable business up in, uh, in the West Michigan area. Daniel, I don't know whether or not it could be quantitatively or qualitatively ascertained at this point. Uh, how much success has the forum been since it was founded in, in, in terms of maybe some, if not gauging overall success, some maybe some accomplishments that has happened since the forum was founded? Well, we like to think that we have, that our organization has played a key role in helping to uh, advance West Michigan's position as a sustainability leader in our state and nation. Uh, some of this work, I think, has been picked up by other by other organizations and industry since. Uh, but we but we were launched at the beginning of the green building movement and uh, and at the beginning of what became the uh, campus sustainable business movement uh, and had a key role in helping helping local uh, help local companies learn what each other is doing uh, and learn from each other in a non competitive uh, collaborative fashion uh, in a way that is somewhat unique nationally. Uh, being able to bring, be able to bring so many different people with different perspectives together uh, to learn about each other and advance and, and, and advance outcomes. Uh, in recent years, we've been heavily engaged in uh, working to advance sustainable, sustainable materials management uh, throughout the, throughout the region. Uh, some work that we some work that we've done to help. Uh, help industry understand the value of the materials that are currently being set to landfill uh, has informed it has, has informed any number of private and public investments, uh, including the Kent County Sustainable Business Park, as well as uh, as well as recent recent investments in Holland uh, to remake the way that it delivers recycling services to its to its residents. Daniel Schoonmaker, some might say sustainability and profitability, you can't have both. It looks like the forum is trying to say, yes, you can have both. Yeah, I think the, uh, uh, I think, I think we've proven that's been the case a long time since. And I think, I think it's large, it's beginning to become understood that you, you can't have long-term profitability without, uh, without sustain, without sustainability. It's an expectation from customers, from investors, from uh, and from ownership, and all kinds of stakeholders. Uh, and if if you're not making these type of investments, at at at, at some point you're going to see your profitability, profitability, and the viability of your business decline as well. Talk a little bit, uh, Daniel Schoonmaker, about Monday's forum. It's uh, basically a luncheon forum at the Herring of Holland Civic Center place, uh, uh, talking about this particular forum and who will be there and what will be the purposes of the forum. Well, we're, ex we're excited to be able to host people in person again in Holland. Uh, it's been a couple of years since we've been, uh, since, uh, since, we've been uh, since we've been able to do that. 
this is a part. This is a partnership with uh, the the city of Holland. And it'll also be its first in person educational event in a number a number of year, uh, years as well. Uh, bringing bringing back the sustainability program that I had done on a monthly basis for uh, for quite a few years successfully, uh, and and we're 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 happy to have uh, collaboration from the out from the outdoor discovery uh, discovery network in, in, uh, involved also, and through this we're. Uh, we're trying to highlight for our region and and, uh, and the Holland area uh, the role that Holland that Holland business institutions are playing in advancing in advancing sustainability sustainable business uh, in their industries and in within within the region, highlighting uh, some, some some of many uh, interesting and important stories that are happening in the city right now. Uh, one the Herman Miller's, uh, sorry, Miller Knowles, uh, uh, exciting commitment to to invent to to incorporate recycled content, uh, specifically ocean bound plastics, which are one of the most difficult to uh, difficult to utilize uh, into into its product line, uh, inclu in, in, including including its iconic uh, air on chair. Uh, we'll be having Kelsey Baca uh, from her, from Miller and Ola to talk about that, and she'll also be be, be, be talking about how uh, the newly merged company uh, is 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 uh, approaching its combined sustainability goals. Uh, we'll have we'll we'll have Jack Jackson from Balta from uh, from Balta out as well, uh, who who you who who you may know as the company as the as the company that recently did that did that did that really unique collaboration with uh, with the. Uh, 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 with the uh, with the, with the Holland with the Holland DPW, uh, demonstrating how new battery technology can can, can make uh, uh, can increase efficiency and effectiveness of 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 their vehicle fleets. And finally, finally, we have Brian Paggio, who uh, runs a company that's uh, called Foresight Management that was. Based in Holland, and is, or that was launched in Holland, and is currently based in Grand Rapids. But uh, Holland, but Brian has been uh, among the city's most active uh, sustainability champions, and uh, is a constant fixture in in, in the work that this that that the city and the community energy plan has moved forward. Uh, and his company has played a played a played a key role in advancing uh, dozens of of organiza organizational sustainable uh, sustainability efforts in the Holland area uh, over the past 15 years. Now, the luncheon that's coming up on Monday over at the Herring of Holland Civic Center place runs from noon until 1.30, $18 for uh, members of the West Michigan Sustainable, Sustainable Business Forum and $24 for, nice way of putting it, future members <laughs> of the WS. Uh, WMSBF. More information on the website at WMSBF, or if you want more information, get a hold of the forum at 616-422-7963, 616-422-7963. Uh, Daniel Schoonbaker, the Executive Director of the West Michigan Sustainable Business Forum, thank you very much for joining us today on WHTC. Good luck not only in Monday's forum, but also with other ventures involving the WMSBF. Thank you there, Daniel. Thank you for having me. That is Daniel Schoonmaker on 99.7 and 1450 WHTC.